Hey guys, Heather's Horseman here. Just figured I'd give you guys an update, a tool update. Uh, this is the five speed bench drill press from Harbor Freight. You guys may have seen my other video um, where I was working on it and it kept stalling once I got into the metal. Well, I'm making, just cleaning up here a little bit so I figured I'd just make an update video. Uh, it is still going strong, still works. The only thing that stopped working was the light, and I think that just needs a bulb. I've yet to replace it, but still kicks on, still quiet. Just the lid rattles a little bit. And I did make an adjustment. I actually changed the gearing on it. I, I changed the belt down on the to the smallest pulley there and the largest here, which according to the chart is supposed to be... 760 RPMs. I figured I'd give it a little bit more torque, and surprisingly, it gave it a, a lot more torque. It doesn't stall nearly as much now when I'm drilling. As long as you take your time and you have sharp bits, it, it just keeps going. I mean, I still have stalled it a couple times um, drilling if I tried to tried to go down too fast with it. Um, but yeah, just definitely. I mean, I would. I mean, for a cheap drill press. If it's something you're not going to use a whole lot, and to be honest, I actually did use the heck out of this thing. I mean, I'm working on my truck over there, which is buried. Um, lots of rust repairs and lots of custom one-off pieces that I had to make and drill holes for. And it's just knocking them out. I mean, left and right, no problems really. I mean, the only issue is the stalling that I've had so far. It hasn't overheated, hasn't smoked, hasn't smelled funny, hasn't burned up or anything like that. And I've used it a lot, more than I can count. That's that's for sure. It's it's definitely paid for itself already. So just wanted to let you guys know uh, if you're you're debating on whether to get this or not. If you're putting it in a machine shop, no. Obviously, that's probably you know you wouldn't be looking at this if you were looking to start a machine shop. It's not something I would use daily, heavy duty use. You know. Um, but if you're just throwing it in your garage, using it when you need it, you know, go for it. It it hasn't let me down. It's quiet, you know, just besides the lid rattling a little bit. But um, that mainly started once I adjusted the uh, the belt. So it actually looks like the lid might be the whole top might be a little loose. Um, but other than that, no complaints at all. For what I paid for it, it's definitely paid for itself. So. Anyway, if, you, if you're looking at getting it, don't worry. I, I would definitely, you know, you have nothing to lose, really. Um, just possibly get the ex extended warranty. I know their electronic stuff, they say, isn't the best. I know with their drills, they seem to wear out pretty quick. Uh, at least the uh, corded drills that plug into the wall. I've gone through quite a few of them, but this thing's still kicking. So I wouldn't fret when purchasing this. It's, it's definitely a good purchase for the money. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.